So yeah, Mao versus Colonies. <laughs> All the lights on that shield, man. The toe tap. Good shield hold, oh, nice. Yep, easy punish. Yeah, good awareness there, Colonies. First time around, you went for arrow and went for a dash attack a little early, but... Unfortunately, Mal messed up the, the punish there and allowed Colonies to get damage. So I love that Colonies still, regardless, recognized that he could have been punished there. Oh. So he stayed away. Good catch. Oh, Puppy. the setup. Oh, oh you're so going. good. You are so good. No escape. Hmm. Bomb play. Yes, there you go. That time around, he's in range to actually get the dash attack. Good mix up. Bear on the shield. Not gonna land, courtesy of Young Link's the safe nair. The safe bear, rather. Ooh, did not want... Definitely did not want Hadouken there. Dash attack again, gets him off stage. Yeah, good nair. Double Great nair, nair. On yeah, the double nair. Yeah. Yeah, in order to pull that off, you have to make sure you space it properly to actually get it as well, too, on the shield. Yeah, not many characters can do double nair like that, so always will trip people out, especially being so quick. Oh no, Colonies. Wow, that sucks. He, he, you could tell he was easily scared with the percent that he was, and especially right at the ledge. That was kind of more I of mean, a preemptive if you're going to get I don't even know, like, if I felt like that was almost a mistake, because he literally did it down and right away off. Yeah. Oh no, and the bomb explosion causes the Bro. shield break. That was a rough spot. Man. And <laughs> like that though? Like <laughs> Young know, Ken Masters, man. Oh no, too a little bit overshooting the the fire arrow on that one. Yeah, Colonies is looking for a pick because he can knows he can easily turn it around with just a stamp. Just a stock. Oh no, double toss you. Shield pressure. Oh, oh roll man, I'm surprised we did not see him go for that extended pressure there. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to slowly open up Ken here with any projectile you can get. You know, he's kind of in that sweet spot for that kill combo. Yeah. Oh, Colonies 81 and the SD too, the shield break cost them so much. Able to survive. Thong's got a six second timer, so he can still make the recovery. Oh, good, good one. Yeah, you can kind of break through a yep. lot. Of, you can break through that projectile with Hatsune. Uh, Mawashi Gary, dude. I knew, I knew. Young Roundhouse. <laughs> Mao taking game one. He smash for you. <laughs> that was definitely one of those moments you'd see on Yeet Smash for sure. Getting shield pressure into the shield broken because he held bomb for too long. And in retrospect, like colonies can do that just because if he had a healthier shield, he would have totally been fine. Like you could that that bomb could actually just potentially move Mao away at the last second. But because there was so much shield damage, he had taken so much pressure. One. 
the shield break was caused by the bomb as well. So Rook's about to be in. Let's see if Collins can turn things around too as well. He had started off really hot last game, able to just kind of confirm up the projectiles and take the stock lead here. Oh no! You hate to see yeah. it. That is like, rough. Yeah, looking like he chose SD City and not PS2. Well, you mixed up back and just like that, 63%. What are you gonna do? Double jump? Is he talk to? Yeah. Fortunately, Colonies ran away far enough. Good parry. Duking a little extra damage. Another one. Nice, finally with the drag down into the border, clean play from Colonies. Yeah, I thought Boomerang on the back was gonna come help him out, won't, but he's still in a good place here. But the full jump will get now all that oh. character, oh man, all that stage control and then instantly gets him with that dare. I'm sitting jam right into freaking DP, man, the close of the stock. Oh, Ooh. close, but he doesn't oh. catch the tail end of that. That's a lot of damage here. Oh, Corner no. carry. Nice, he angles no, the shield there. Pressure. Like a shield wow. Oh, yeah, single hit. He would have taken it through. Up oh, here we go. Oh, oh my gonna... gosh. Just three reads in a row. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. okay, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. You're, you're re grabbing the Blood ledge. in the water. I did it. Yeah, I mean, that was a situation where he knew that he was just pretty much like screwed. He went for the, we saw him do it before, the wall jump and the like boomerang, or he usually was doing arrow, but the moment he kind of moved around there, held shield. It was uh, it's pretty much a rat. Yeah. Tough spot to be in, too. If, like, I felt that Colonies have, like, I get what Colonies was trying to do with a little bit of a trick shot from the boomerang to kind of, like, let Mal let go of the ledge here. But unfortunately, you're still re grabbing the ledge. And if it doesn't work through and he just shields it, you're walking into, like, potentially just a down smash, which was the situation how it played out. Some yeah. scenarios that I saw Colonies, too, at the ledge where I felt like he could have just thrown bomb a little bit more to kind of cover the ledge and then see what other options he can go from especially i didn't see that too much from colonies yeah i mean like when when colonies was on the ledge he usually would go for like you know you'd mix up some stuff but there is a good chunk of time where if he someone was spaced and he thought he had enough um like he was giving them a ledge he like went like roll range a lot of times he would go for the wall jump arrow. So, I mean, it's something that he had done a lot. So, I mean, at a certain point, if you keep doing the trick, the trick's not a trick. Yeah. Right? It's, it's not at all. You know, it's it's a you tell. And so Mal went there, you know, kind of manu moved around, made it look appealing, right? Because you, you always got to make it look juicy for someone, you know, like mm -hmm. what Karina loves to say. You know, you got to make it look juicy. You want it to look tempting so they follow suit with the already um, preconceived notion they have, right? And uh, Mao did that and then got punished for it, so really good stuff by him. Man, but so unfortunate, man. A lot of these, uh, some of these errors I've seen from Colonies. Yeah. Kind of lost the stock really early, man. And it's already, it looks like a well, tight matchup, so it's, it's rough to see it go down like that. Not to take anything away from Mao though. Mao's been playing it extremely well. Almost yeah. got another jab lock there. I'm um, with the proximity jab. And oh, uh, I'm he... surprised we didn't see him let something rip. He is locking this man in disadvantage as much as possible at the ledge too. He's like, you know what? If you want to get out of the corner, you're going to have to take more percent. Or come up with a better trick. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the name of the game, man. Like, it's crazy because the corner in itself in this game is not, um, 
it it's strong, but it's not as strong as a fighting game, right? But yeah, uh, they pretty much what they do with this game because of the turnaround and because of like rolls and nuances how they work and the speed of their tilts. It feels like a fighting game when you're in the corner. Like they get pressure, they get damage, like you know, and it's, it's harder for you to escape. You can't just roll away and think you're gonna be okay. You really have to have a presence of mind. Um, to get out of that corner. Yeah, and speaking of presence of mind, it looks like Mal has a lot of presence of mind to like, okay, where's Colin he's running to, right? He's back to the corner. If he's going to put himself at that situation, I can take care of that stuff as soon as possible. And he's also not falling for a lot of those projectiles. If he is, he's either holding out the eye of a way to get away as soon as possible, or he's trying to call him out for going for something like Boomerang. Yeah. Oh, catch him with a double jump. Oh my gosh, that whipped over his head. And a B, good catch. Not going to do it yet, though, but let's see. Oh, the bomb. Oh, and the yeah. There. Another one. Kick. Good DI. Not yet. Good. Solid. Got him out of his double jump. That's big. Oh, you're oh. dead. You got him out of his bad. double jump. So he just. Oof. Yeah, man. The auto turned around, man. You try to roll from the downfall pressure. They're only going to walk right back into it. Yeah, oh, try to roll. And? And this is the thing about Colonies, too. Like, I'm not saying he's not trying to play the projectile war or play it efficiently. It's just there's some times where I think he may preemptively go in. That was good to kind of catch the parry and then go for grab. Nice bomb trap as a setup here. Boomerang has a toss. Can you get the grab? Yeah. But look how Mount is slowly finding his way in, man. Just playing it very well in mid range. Not being too preemptive. And that's usually what happens with people when they play against zoners, right? They'll get really flustered, they get here, and then they just eat that damage up. But he's playing mid range very, very well. And because yeah. of that, he's not taking too much damage. Yeah, I mean, good to not get the way here, and then now getting in on his own term. And that's what's making this hard. Up, and yeah, he's going to roll away. And like you said, his own terms, right? He's able to get through Boomerang with Tatsu, and he's able to kind of yeah. close in the gap on Colony slowly. Uh, finally, neutral yeah, there there. to seal that one. Oh man, yeah, that <laughs> that that Hadouken was so well placed that it just messed Colleen's up, dude. It messed up his whole game because he didn't want to stay on the ground versus Ken. It was a light Hadouken, so it's like just sitting there. And it's like you don't want to full hop because then it's like this guy keeps catching you out of your landing. Right? Yeah. So that was actually a really great Hadouken. It was so funny that it like didn't do like nothing really happened. Oh. But that whole situation you see is rough. Yeah. Oh, he didn't even go to. Yeah, he needed proximity jab there. Yeah. If he went for proximity jab, he would have gotten the kill straight up. And roll. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh. That would have been a very very difficult to get away from against colonies. Mm -hmm. You know, double jump and sit back. Good parry, nice. And oh, then come back. man. Yeah, it doesn't go for a run on BP. It goes for a dash forward smash first. BP. Oh, not again. I'm missing it. I'm gotten it from jab, too. See, good stuff. Colony's bringing this part back here. Yeah, slowly but surely, good back air. Yep. See, we're calling is that always at the ledge, trying to take care of him. That back air has so much shield wow, damage here. Wow, 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 wow. Just threading the needle. And I know Mal is trying to hold on as much as possible not to get that DP itch, man. <laughs> oh. I know you wanted to DP so bad in that whole, whole scenario, man. And Colony's just going to stick it through. Get him 172, get something started up here. Here we go, good catch. Good damage, already has him at 52%. Sitting back, good bomb placement. Doesn't go for the throw, just sets up a trap. Knows that he's looking at for a way in, so he wants to cover his landing, which is where Mal has been getting the majority of the damage. Good catch, and my goodness, this might be a stock here. Nice boom run, cover the, the jump up opportunity. Yep. In there. Is there a jump? Here we go. Yep. Can he catch the jump out of the shield here? 
Okay, and it slows it down here. Doesn't want to go for any kind of overzealous anti air. Yep. Up here on the shield? No, he's gonna step back. Bomb. Oh, the pressure. Oh my one. gosh, that was actually sexy. <laughs> dude, that was so good. I'm surprised. Dude, I wonder if you could have just DP'd out of that. That would have been freaking fire. But nonetheless, Colonies is going to take that game. Great stuff by him. Yeah, finally, with the point on the board, Colonies back at it. What well, was originally a rough situation was going to be a 3 0 from Mao. Guys, game four. Let's see if Mal can close out the deal here and move on to the rest of the losers here in losers finals. We're calling these finally get back after those pretty rough two lot first two losses. I mean, I, I'll I'll say right now, uh, definitely, I'm e interested to see the adaptation which is from Mal. I think Colonies is definitely playing it a lot better. I do love the. The extra layers of defense that he's putting onto his play as well too, while he's in neutral, uh, putting out the bombs on the ground, they have been helping him a lot. Yeah. There, I think he's just being more cognizant of the kind of angles that Mal is using inside. Good catch there. On that, oh, this should be a punish. No, not gonna happen. Nice. Able yeah, to kind of come in, come in with the overhead on that one. Okay, this is big. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, good jump. Oh, and he barely gets in over the up smash, too. Yeah. Nice. Good double jump. Kind of wanted to see if Collins are going to make a play for trying to get to center stage. Yeah. Both of them are playing so much more patient in those kind of scenarios. Nice. Good cancel. Yeah. Kind of wants to slowly bail out Connie's for any little single hits like Nair. Ooh. Oh. Yep, DP. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, and it's almost like, kind of worth it, too, because you can see that Connie's is. He's trying to see it and catch Connie's casual jumps from the ledge. Or the oh, no, of case. course. I mean, it, Mao has been playing, predicating a lot of his game on that through the course of this tournament. Yeah. Um, people jumping out. I mean, it's just, it's a very, it's probably the number one play that a medium to high level player is going to do when they're in the corner, right? Jump, full hop out, do something about it. So he recognizes that, he sees the pressure, and he goes for it. And he knows a couple of things, right? Most of the time, it's either there, they'll jump a little bit earlier and he won't catch it, and they'll just double jump away in which they can't punish top, uh, DP. Or it's like they went somewhere else and they got, had to grab ledge, and then again, they can't punish DP. So yeah. it it still puts the fear in their mind. And of course, he was able to land one after all. So good stuff there. Bow Mao. Let's see if uh, Colonies can get this stock, or are we going to see a deficit start to emerge? Good catch. Not going to kill just yet. 
Yeah, I thought that bomb was gonna hit. Not going to. Good bear. All right. Yeah, bomb the place. Wow. Yeah, you lose. Boomerang on the game. back end. Yep. Yeah, Mal was at a high percent where he had to pretty much act immediately after a ledge grab. And sometimes people will forget that, man. So, like, you just take that slight step and you go for something and you get some good damage. Good combo right there from Mal. Good damage. Ooh, this is big. Nice. Sit back and. Yeah, go up, to top you. Yeah, we're gonna get a punish here. Yeah, good boomerang. It's gonna force Mal to kind of sit there on the ground. Which means colonies can kind of reset his spacing. Be in a good place. Ooh. Wow. Nice. Cross on the cross up. Oh, got him out of his double chum. This is more enough time to reset. Yeah, Mal kind of respecting Colony. See if he can call out that boomerang. Good play here. I think that's how Mal's been usually getting in. He's been calling out those boomerangs with tosses, and then finally breaking through the wall. Oh, world. yeah. For sure. Same thing on uh, the grounded uh, boomerangs. I mean, sorry, on the uh, grounded arrows. He's been doing that a lot as well. I mean, that's one of his main things he's been looking at. It's been between that and uh, him going for full hops in, or using his double jump to kind of wait, make sure that he saw what he saw, and then go fist. I mean, you're looking at the Shotos, one thing for certain for these characters, it, they just want to, they want to hit you. Yeah. Right? Good stuff there. Like, it they, they, doesn't matter if they hit your shield or they actually hit you, hit you. Right? They need to, they, as long as they make contact of some kind there, they're looking for it. So, you know, you'll go and use the double jump to kind of see if there's anything he can do, which he, any kind of window where you can land on them and then he can get his free pressure. A good double jump, good usage of the platforms here. Maneuvering yeah, through. Yeah. Yeah. Mal's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna use my advantage. You're gonna need to do something. Uh, speaking Ooh, of doing something, there's an eighty-four yes. percent of that. The damage. Force the low recovery. I like it. Oh Trying my to poke gosh. With the yeah. yeah. I think down. If he had gotten down smash, that would have been. Sock, but he went for a, a uh, low forward, aka the strong uh, down tilt. Now he's gonna slowly inch it in there. I like that back away though. Yeah, like you said, Bam, play mid range, yeah, play yeah. mid range. Yeah, that's, I mean, this is really what you're gonna have to do, especially like when you're playing the Shoto. You have to go for the short dash, shield, walk shield, the parries in that range, and. What? Because that's where it gets scary. When you know some a Shoto is willing to kind of sit there and do that, and they're getting in slowly and slowly, that's the, that is it's just inferred pressure. Because you know what was going to happen once they get there. Oh, nice! Tries to break through. Doesn't see the opportunity here. Slowly playing it here. One sixteen to one hundred three. Yep. He's trying He's to big. watch out for every single projectile he can get. I like that. Trying to slowly come around with the focus attack. Yeah, but good boomerang, man. That boomerang is, is coming in clutch in the timing because it's being, getting angled up. Okay, he's looking. Yeah, he's definitely looking for his landing right now. Yeah. And that's the big. All right, so who's going to get the read they need first? Both of them have been scouting out landings. Oh, gets him on the ledge. Oh, close. Rough. The GP relinquishes his positioning, but full hops right over because Colin needs to overextend himself. And now this is going to be a problem. Yep. Dude, that is a uh, that is the classico, dude. Again, street game. Oh. Yep, got him. Last second on the getup. Yep. Gets regular getup. Yeah, good stuff there. by calling these goals that went out, man. And it's funny because Mal actually got the Shoto Dream. So one of the best the Shoto Dream is, all right. When you when someone's in the corner and you dash up to them and then you just roll back. And literally ninety-nine percent of the time, I feel like, like I said, like for mid to high level players, like dude, even top players, they'll see that and they'll just roll in. Yeah. Cause you just don't want to be pressured by that character there. Cause then like you're not gonna 
it's not like you're just going to slide away or you're just going to hit off because of the shield, right? So you have to hold all of that. And that's like the benefit of being in the corner, right? And it's the same thing in the actual traditional fighter, which is like funny because like they made all the things happen. So like situations are s similar, even though it's like it through different means. But anyways, like you don't want to deal with that pressure. So the moment you see them walk up in your grill and you're like, oh no, I got to get out of here. A lot of times people in that kind of situation, they'll go for a rollback. But the Shoto yeah. already does a preemptive rollback, and then they're, you're right in front of them, and they just hit you, and you just yeah. die. And he got it too, but um, Mal, Mal just he's like, nah, man, I'm gonna play as safe as possible. He just wanted to be super tentative, so got what he was looking for. But uh, Colonies is gonna pull it out. You know, it's gonna be who's gonna bite. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it and see what decisions are being made here. Yeah, looks like we're back to Pokemon Stadium 2 here. Ready? And well, Game 5, Colony's able to bring it back. Good stuff to him. He had a really rough first two games and now he's able to finally like fully adapt. And you can even see it from Mao as well. He's been taking a lot of adaptation notes as well, so... We'll see. This is the final one between these two. Game five. Let's see what yep. brings it on. Game five. See, and oh man, and look at this, man. This is the difference between game one and game five. Even just how it started off, right? Only see 8% on the board here. Here we go to start something up. Goes for a dash grab. Trying to see if this time around he would not jump out of the corner. Nice carry with the Tatsu here. Colony saving the jump in that situation. Coming back. 60% here. Mao is dealing damage. Good read on that one. He is not yeah. letting him get out of the corner for free. No, not at all, man. Nice. Good boomerang to cover that low recovery. Of course, he might have to go extra low. Yeah. And this, dude, this is what I love about extended stats, man. Because you can see from both of them, like, the way they're playing around, like, the standard traps they were using early at game one. Like, they've, the adaptation has happened, right? Some counterplay has happened. Good stuff there by calling me. Mal really wanted to tank that, but he couldn't. Tatsu, oh nice, trying to... Oh, man. Ooh. Nice, good DI still surviving that counter is mighty powerful. Yeah. Again, good DI of that. Again. Nice. So he will recover. Wow. He's lost ledge of invincibility here. So he's about to be in 181. DP, I already see it. Oh, did a light Tatsu. Ah, nice. Good catch on the roll. Nice. Kind of, kind of sense the fact that you know what he was gonna go right back to the scene of the crime. Yeah. Oh man, there's a very solid lead here from Colonies. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that was. Almost everything. Oh, 
it, I know calling it to sigh of relief, man. That could have been so much. I mean, this yeah. is still going to be a hard one. Good. Oh, that was key. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Go to the boomerang, kind of kind of covering the high here. Once again. Oh, so close. Yeah. Nice, right on the bump. Uh, now, finally a little I bit of a side there. relief. 41%. Oh, oh my goodness. Going down the wire. And Mal is just trying to apply some pressure now, man. Oh. Good. Great Hadouken, man. Again, Hadoukens are in a good place to really pin Colony down to the ground. It's where he wants them. So dangerous there for both players. Set up. He's gonna wait. Okay, here we go. Another opportunity in the corner. This is gonna be big. And he's just gonna roll away. A lot of respect between these two. You're slowly trying to find a way in. Colin, he's finally with the neutral leg. Pushes in the ledge here. Z jumping the bomb. It takes a little bit of time here to get this set up. Nice. Covers the high here. He knows Mal's going back. Wow. Go for dash tag. Well, that trade. Oh my goodness. That was good. That was. So yeah, you wait for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, <laughs> he waited. He good stuff there, Brett Collies. Collies wanted to be so tentative about that grab. He's like, okay, keep shielding here. I'm getting him in the pattern. He's parrying here. He's parrying here. I'm shielding here. He's parrying here. 